uh, is this one uh, in my last video I created a character uh, manually uh, using resources that already exist in the SRD so humans dwarves drifflings bars clerics druids acolytes um, in this video I'm going to teach you how to create your custom content um, so you can uh, pick your homebrews you can get content from other books like the player handbook or uh, Eberon mm, who knows um, for this video I'm going to use um, the Psyonite uh, from Nerva Arcana, the Gith Yankee and the Sage so the first thing to do I'm logged as a player um, I will create a new character uh, pick a token I will not use the wizard so disable it and give it a name uh, and here is my uh, library token I can open it here and go to the character sheet and also yeah for now now just the character sheet um, I will start copying um, creating, creating the features so I will click in uh, features and traits and add new and from here I can let, let me pay, take the sage for example I can copy this text and paste it here and handbook and I can give some editing so it uses markdown I can click on help to check how to uh, how to use the tags the the markup language um, so let me speed up a little bit and see you in a minute Um, so um, the the custom parts are done. Um, now I just need to fill the fields. Uh, let me add the uh, since the Psyonite is a fighter subclass. Um, fighter. So I'll take the other fighter feats. Uh, so now I just have to fill the fields. So, person level, it's a fighter. Level uh, 3. Archetype. Psy. Right. Hit dice. On the 10. And since they do use intelligence but the, 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 there isn't a spellcasting ability so just leave it blank when you hover it will show Psynite background it's a sage Ooh, let me roll this table it's um 
professional professor. I can note here, and it will show. And it's a uh, gif. Okay, or you can just make it like this. Okay, okay. Uh, well, okay. And what else? Um, I should probably speed up this process since um, since I already explained this in previous videos. Equipment, uh, I probably already explained it in, in previous videos, but you can uh, add from a list and you can just type here ink, ink, and knife. Um, for the uh, for the dwelling, I get plus two to damage rolls, so I can click here and plus two to jet damage, and same for the long sword damage plus two. Also. Um, you can, this is a new feature, you can type handbex, handbex as ammunition, so when you make an attack with that weapon, it will ask if you want to hit or throw. If you choose to hit, it will make a normal attack, and then you roll the damage, but if you choose to throw it will remove one entry from your items you can go there and take it back but you can make it uh, consume the ammunition if I type hand X it asks uh, if I want to throw but if I type, if I use a longbow and I type arrow, it will um, not ask for the first, in the first place, and it will consume arrows, not handbows. In this case, it will it's consuming itself because it's a throwable. Uh, and finally, um, uh, the. The cyanide gets this psionic uh, talent die that I can uh, make a custom attack uh, okay, here and doesn't need to have a f attack formula, doesn't matter if it's proficient. All it matters is it's only six. Um, it's um, the, the, if it if it does damage, it is um, first damage. And okay, 
here is my psionic talent die so how it works is if you roll the lowest number it goes up um, a value uh, if it if if it the result is the highest number then it goes down so as an example I can roll two okay three okay five all right three okay six so it will deplete and it turns into a d4 uh, and I can keep rolling and keep rolling and keep rolling until I get oh a one so not bad but at least it goes up a number uh, and so on until it's de completely depleted um, oh yeah let's continue with the resources well the character is complete I guess um, yeah so yeah the character is complete um, I know it's not I forgot fighter now it's complete um, yeah uh, oh yeah I, I would like to mention you can also um, change the psionic die from here click here and change it to d4 or d8 and roll from here um, Thanks for watching this video. If you like, leave, leave a like. If you dislike, leave a dislike. If um, you want to see more of this content, you can subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can come here and help in documentation. And get uh, help. Uh, if you want to report a bug, you can come here to issues and make a new issue and report a book uh, and if you want to support me you can uh, sign my patreon and receive high quality maps um, sorry for my patrons for the late the lateness uh, the next one is going to be I almost finished it uh, need some retouches on the colors but and it will have an another uh, another level under under this this um, in the underground uh, it's a dragon slayer uh, oh yeah it will have some trees here but um, it, and it doesn't have to be a dragon slayer it's the uh, ruins uh, you can put whatever you want, but I will put a uh, dragon. Um, and that is it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. I hope this time the audio got captured. Because the last time it lost the content. And I'm recording this again. Oh.